How is environmental misinformation impacting sustainability in cosmetics? It's probably not great. Let's look at sunscreen as one example. You've probably seen all the reef safe and eco claims for mineral sunscreens and the sunscreen bans in Hawaii to purportedly protect coral reefs. The issue, the overwhelming evidence does not support the idea that sunscreen filters of any type are contributing to coral bleaching. Rather, the main driver for coral damage, rising water temperatures, which is attributed to by climate change. Important, under the same unrealistic exposure scenarios used to demonstrate that chemical sunscreens cause coral bleaching, so do the mineral ones. Also, also, when we're taking a total environmental impact point of view, often the mineral-only sunscreens have a higher impact. These false reef-safe ideas were driven by outlier data that has been heavily criticized by the scientific community. There's this concept called misplaced conservation that describes the collective impact of misinformation and polarization on conservation outcomes. The end result is often making the issues intended to be addressed worse. By focusing on non-issues instead of the actual one, climate change, we're wasting the slim resources we have to effectively address the problem. What's been the market response, switch to mineral-only formulas that many consumers won't like as much, which may mean less user compliance and higher rates of skin cancer, stop selling in Hawaii, same result as before for this region, or use illegal UV booster ingredients with UV absorbance and pretend it's not a UV filter. Hmm, I wonder why that mineral-only sunscreen has no white cast. The impacts of environmental misinformation go far beyond the environment.